people discriminate against others because of their lack of knowledge about those individual, either culture, religion, skin color, race, and age. I think education uh, that will be one of the elements that breaks the barrier of discrimination. I always call myself uh, like a double wham kind of things because first, you're a female in a technical area, two, you're a lady wearing a scarf. So if they can get over the female, okay, why she's wearing a scarf? Oh, she's that part of the world. But when people get to know you in a personal level, you're no different than the mom that you know, the sister that you know, or the aunt that you have. To a certain degree, I think NASA culture has reflected society changes. From uh, my perspective, I see a lot of different, diverse background uh, individuals working for the agency. NASA is a small portion of the big melting pot, as the United States we all are. And two, the global changes make us all connect closer. We work great deal with the international partners in every continent. We're reaching out to outside NASA with people that has the right skill set to be able to meet our missions. The landing of uh, MSL, the curiosity, I think this is just an engineering wonder. And as we all, our uh, heart was beating very hard in the seven minutes of terror, and when it landed, it just, you know, I felt the pride to be uh, a NASA employee. I felt the pride to be part of such a wonderful mission. That's why we work so hard in here. The knowledge about space and space technology is not just for us, it's for everyone. You can see we're not the only one who are watching Curiosity when it landed. The whole wide world was watching. I am NASA.